recorded. Hello, okay. welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Find Your Beauty Within First Podcast. This is our first podcast. Beauty Within has been around for a while. We started as a magazine and then into a blog, um, interviewing a con- countless celebrities and fashionistas on the red carpet. But we're right now, we're all about finding your inner beauty, finding your beauty within. And we have our first guest right. today, Caroline, Caroline Dorlick. Am I saying Dorlick right? Dorick. <laughs> Dorick. Yeah. Sorry, Caroline Dorick. We have Caroline Dor- Dorick. She is a specialty in skin care. She's worked with people from Smashbox, L'Oreal, and so much more. She could give us a little intro of herself, and then we go into the interview. Okay. Well, first I want to say thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Um <sighs> God, my life is an open book, but um, to narrow it down, um, I am an NCEA and uh, oncology certified master esthetician, and I have been doing this for over 20 years. I started my career as a makeup artist, uh, freelancing for many brand names in the beauty industry. I can go on and on. Um, Privileged and honored to be doing what I'm doing today. Um, And that is I am the founder and owner of what I think is Ocean County's and maybe even other counties only 100% holistic beauty, health, and wellness. So I'm bringing it to a whole new level when it comes to beauty. Um, My life and my journey started um, many moons ago. I was 27. I graduated from Atelier Esthetiques in Manhattan, And I became a dual licensed esthetician in New Jersey and New York by the time I was 27. At that point, I was actually a single mom. And I was really only doing it to make extra money on the side. Um, I really needed to help support my daughter. And uh, my mom was a huge influence on me. She was a 10 year uh, sufferer of uh, metastasized breast cancer. Um, And she was also a nurse. And she was my influence from a very young age. Um, She taught me what it meant to care about people and be compassionate and kind to other people's circumstances. And I really learned a lot. from her and through her journey, um, she passed in April and uh, my life won't be the same without her ever. Um, But I hope to carry on her legacy, that's for sure. Okay, well, you definitely carry on the legacy um, because the topic is something that you actually chose yourself was finding beauty through health happiness and serenity so can you tell me why you chose that title and what do you mean by that well uh that actually came to be because of two influences one was i was in a major car accident a little over 12 years ago and i had to go through a lot of cognitive rehabilitation i was diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury And the doctors were telling me, hey, listen, you know, it's time for you to accept your new normal. That's what they kept calling it, my new normal. And I chose a different path. I chose not to be limited by what other people considered a limitation, you know. Um, And then there were 
a slew of clients that I had the privilege to make appear beautiful on the outside. And what I found was no matter how much makeup I put on them or as beautiful as I saw them, they didn't feel it themselves. And I wanted to change that. I wanted to be the person to say, no, you're beautiful and you should feel it inside and out and change your perspective, change how you perceive yourself because I want you to see what I see. And um, it all kind of culminated in this direction. So part of what we do at Whole Beauty Bar is we take a whole body approach to beauty. That means what you put on your body, in your body, and what you say has a direct influence on how you believe in yourself. The things you say, the things you want, they can all be achieved. You're, you're not limited by any means. And we help promote that. Sorry. That's so, okay. yes. Wait, hold on. So, what you were saying about people that are insecure, but you have a lot of makeup on, what do you suggest? Do you think people should just take better care of their skin so they could just love themselves naturally uh, before they put on the makeup? I think it goes beyond the level of skin deep. Um, I believe it's 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 your core, you know, it's it's limiting yourself and feeling less than and comparing yourself to the images that you see on social media, you know, yes. the, those images are not real. Um, and then we have, we have so many filter, we have so many filters, yes. um, you know, um, and you know, so many makeup techniques, you know, I, I watched some, you know, some of these makeup videos, it takes hours to get that, that beauty look and which it looks great, but it's how you feel in the inside too, Correct. because if you feel, if you look beautiful and you feel like crap, it doesn't matter because then that's how you um, treat people as well. That's right. According to how you feel about yourself. Do you agree? Absolutely. A hundred percent. So some of the practices that we do at Whole Beauty Bar is one of my favorite things. And that's um, we have an enhancement that you can add to any service and it's meditation. It's, hypnotic meditation, it's guided meditation. Um, you can select from a multitude of choices if you want to work on your self-esteem, if you want to work on limiting beliefs, if you want, you know, anything that you desire, you can achieve through hypnotic suggestion. So we actually add that as an enhancement on our service menu. Oh, so you do that as well. You do meditation? Absolutely, yes. So what do you do with your meditation? Like, how does that go? You make an appointment and, um, you know, and are you the person that's, that does the meditation or, do you know, how does that work? Well, I myself know how to do it. Um, however... You know, there's a multitude of technology out there that allows you to have access to these things very easily. So there's applications on your cell phone that you can download. All it takes is Bluetooth and an app. Yeah. And you can sit and listen to subliminally, you know, supported suggestions that help you have a different perspective over time. So um, one of the things I became highly fascinated by after my accident was neuro-linguistic programming and how the things we say to ourselves have an effect on our outcome. And so that 
is something I brought into play when I opened up Whole Beauty Bar because I really believe that your beauty, health, and wellness are related. They're intrinsically related. You are can't have one without all of them. Okay. Um, and it's plant-based, non-toxic, clean beauty, um, supported by, you know, everything from the makeup to the skincare, to the um, wellness products, to, you know, being an esthetician is more than just skin deep. Um, okay. We're therapists at times, you know? I'm an open book. They learn about me. I learn about them. And I hope that through my experiences, I can connect with my clients. And if I can help just one person, that gives me a great amount of gratitude. Um, and, and I feel I've done my job. And as far as, um, like you said, you use, you use vegan products. We do. Like skincare products. Is what skincare vegan. products do you use a certain product or you have your own, um, you actually uh, produce your own products or do you use um, any brands that you use yes. that you think is good to have yes. like clear skin? Um, for Actually, I support any non-toxic, um, oncology friendly, um, environmentally sound and also you know, clean lines. So I have no, um, you know, ill will towards any line. However, we do use two lines at our locations. Um, we use Farmhouse Fresh, which is an organically grown line in um, on a farm in Texas. Um, they have a sanctuary for animals. Um, that any product you purchase, a small portion goes towards supporting their sanctuary. Um, and then our cosmeceutical line, which is our advanced line, it's medically validated, um, mm. which means that it's just above over the counter and just below pharmaceutical grade um, for, you know, more advanced skin issues such as rosacea, melasma, um, any types of, you know, advanced aging or advanced acne, we would use Osmosis Beauty, okay. their MD line, their pure MD line. And what, because like sometimes, is it is there anything like for, um, like say, for example, I'm shopping for skincare products. And is there anything that's on, the product that we like the, the labels that we should worry about. Like if it says Aster Potion, I just made it up, but it says, it says <laughs> there's what, a lot what, of what labels should, you can't what understand. Labels should we um, avoid when uh, yes. purchasing beauty products. Yes. Um, sadly, the FDA um, has not taken a strong enough approach on ingredients that are toxic. Uh, for the body. And because absorption through the skin is 60 to 70%, that means what you're putting on your skin is absorbing directly into your, your bloodstream. So to be fair, um, if you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't use it. Exactly. That's why I was, I was thinking of the things that we can't um, pronounce. So that's definitely good um, for people to know. Oh, and another question too um, was um, talking about Botox, plastic surgery, um, because that's my that's favorite really, question. <laughs> yes, people. Right now, it used to be years ago where only celebrities were able to afford, you know, plastic surgery. But now your everyday person can afford um, plastic surgery. There's loans, there's there's plans to get plastic surgery. But the main question is, is it healthy for us? Yes, we look beautiful. We look great. But is it damaging our bodies, especially for everyday people, since we can afford the best plastic surgeons? If, if we're going to a least expensive um, surgery, you know, is it going to be less than, 
you know, than spending a lot of money. So getting Botox in your skin, injecting that in your skin, is that toxin? Does that affect us? I'm just going to bottom line it 100%. Um, now, I'm not a doctor. I don't claim to be a nurse, doctor, or, or in the medical field whatsoever. I am only a holistic practitioner um, who specializes in holistic skincare. So I'm rather than responding, I'm going to pose a question. And that question is, Botox is derived from botulitum toxin. Botulitum toxin is a protein that's extracted from a poison that inflicted a disease called botulism, which paralyzed the body. So although they say it's minimally evasive, my question is, if we can store silicone, if we can store viruses, if we can't break down certain chemicals or certain foreign objects that come into our body, if they say it's only a low level, it's not toxic, let's think about it. What happens over time? Where does it go? They say it flushes out through our lymphatic system, that it disintegrates and we, you know, dispose of it naturally. Mm. But we know that not to be true. Think about smoking. How much research did it take before the Surgeon General said, oh, by the way, smoking is dangerous. Yeah. Um, Doctors were smoking in their offices. Teachers were smoking in their classrooms. Bus drivers were smoking in their vehicles. Nobody knew. That's because companies are making money off of, off, off of cigarettes. And um, the same but with um, a lot of surgery. Yes. And there just isn't enough because the beauty industry latched on to because the medical industry has been using Botox for various reasons for quite some time now. Once the beauty industry caught wind, that's when it became notoriety. It became this huge thing. Oh my God, instant gratification. And our children started using it 19, 20 years old. They don't even have a wrinkle on their face yet. And they're injecting botulinum toxin without any forethought. And I feel that that's potentially dangerous. Do your homework. And um, um, does it freeze? Does Like sometimes if you get Botox, can it freeze in your face? Like can it stiffen? Well, they say, now they are the medical industry. They say that it injects and stays in the area of which it was injected. But you can't manipulate the area for up mm. to two weeks after injection. So you can't get a facial or you can't do any kind of lymphatic drainage on your face or massage on your face because it can spread. So um, it's my belief that there's too many contradictory statements for me to feel confident that that's, in fact, a solid truth. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit, what is cryo skin? Cryo skin is, it uses the process of cryo, uh, I'm sorry, thermogenesis which is um, extreme cold temperature or negative 10 degrees temperature to actually accelerate the metabolism of the cells, to encourage blood flow, to encourage oxygen to the area, 
to increase collagen production, to stimulate uh, new uh, elastin, you know, to, to increase the elastin. And basically, it's an anti-aging superstar. Okay. Um, and also, too, um, I know I spoke about this before. Um, what's the difference between microdermabrasion, lead, lead um, light therapy, uh, what's the other one? Uh, hydrodermabrasion? Hydro, hydrofacial and chemical pill. Easy. Like, they're all easy, the same. Easy. It's complicated to the person reading it because they're overwhelmed. They don't understand what all this terminology means. So I like to break it down for my clients as easy as possible. Um, microdermabrasion, I like to compare it to sandpapering a wall. So it hyper exfoliates the first few layers of your epidermis, your skin layers, only, you know, about three or four layers, um, non-invasive, uh, using a diamond tip that has a suction cord attached to it. And it's an advanced form of exfoliation. It's It's been around for a long time. It's one of my favorites. It's a tried and true. And then you have the new, more advanced version of that, which is the hydrofacial or the hydrodermabrasion machine, which basically I like to compare to... Uh, power washing a wall. So it uses the power of the fluids, the serums that flow through it, uh, along with microdermabrasion to get into the skin cells and irrigate them um, to clear them of any sebaceous fluids or filaments. Um, both equally as effective, both equally good. Um, but it's like comparing a little bit of apples to oranges, you know? It all depends on what your needs are. And the next two are chemical peel. Um, estheticians are only allowed to go up to 30%. Uh, it is an alpha hydroxy acid or a beta hydroxy acid percentage. So we use it in terms of things that you might see in products glycolic acid, lactic acid, uh, salicylic acid, TSA, malic acid, mandelic acid. These are all in that category. And we use a 30% solution to hyper exfoliate the skin, to resurface and retexture it. Um, it's a far less evasive treatment than one that a doctor would do. A doctor can go as high as 70%. And um, at that rate, you're essentially chemically burning the first few layers of your skin, and it will peel off um, 30%. That's not going to happen. You may get dry. Uh, you might be sensitive for a few days. You just baby your skin and protect it with a nice thick layer of zinc oxide SPF and you should be good to go. Okay. And then lastly is the, um, I'm sorry, you said uh, chemical peel, hydroder uh, hydrofacial, microdermabrasion. Microdermabrasion. And what was the other one? I think it's the lead. Um, it's the oh, LED light. light. That's my favorite. <laughs> I, I, that's the one I use. That's the one I usually go to. That's my favorite. NASA was able to extract all the benefits of our sun without any of the ramifications of the dangers of the UVA or the UVB. So it triggers the wound healing response in our brain and the ATP process that we have as plants have. So we need sunlight, oxygen, and nutrients. And it simulates that process, which accelerates our circulation, our oxygenation, and our wound healing. So I'm a big fan, big 
big, big fan. Awesome. So we actually, we're wrapping up, um, Caroline, but I want you to leave the viewers with something, you know, say, tell your website and what would you leave the viewers with as far as holistic beauty? What would be your last words, um, from all your journey? Um, and you know, from, from your, from, from be, working in beauty and your journey all together? Well, um, I suppose it's what started this journey for me in the first place. I strive to help people become their most beautiful potential. I strive to help people feel beautiful on the inside and know that regardless, you know, what's inside here is what makes you beautiful at the end of the day. Don't compare yourself to others. You are uniquely you. You are beautiful just the way you are. And be okay with aging gracefully. You know, aging is bound to happen. We don't have to give in. We can age gracefully and we can find healthy alternatives that aren't harmful and and just uh, believe in yourself, know your worth, and know that no matter what, you are enough. You are special and you are loved. And the first person that you should love is you. And you can visit us at Whole Beauty Bar across all of social media. That's whole with a W. Um, and uh, I cannot wait for this journey to uh, take where this journey is going to take me. I'm I'm excited for the ch next chapter. We're opening our second location. I'm very excited. Um, Congratulations. Well, yes. Thank you. It started off with just me. It wow. was just me in a room. And then one room became two. And then two rooms and a shared lobby and then a storefront. And now it's a three-story day spa. And I got uh, a visit. Oh, Anissa, I, I would love to have you. <laughs> Please come visit. Maybe you can come to our grand opening. <laughs> oh, I'll definitely, uh, yeah, tell Joe. Yeah, I definitely will come to that. I definitely will. And whoever's listening, if there's, one thing that you can take away from all of this is this. You can't control what happens when you walk out the door. But you can control what happens to you. So be mindful. Use your better judgment. And at the end of the day, be beautiful inside and out thank you so much caroline that was such a great message thanks for stopping by it was my pleasure anisa have a wonderful beautiful lovely day you too thank you bye everyone